Hello everybody, this is Reggie time and today I'm just making a fun video playing some small stakes, micro stakes, not sure how you class them. Um, second goes on poker stars. I haven't got very much money on poker stars because I took most of it off when 888 came back to life. So I'm going to play them probably for around who knows, half an hour, 45 minutes or until I run out of money, whichever comes first. Hopefully 45 minutes will come before I run out of money, but um, I don't think I've got too much left. Um, that's the wrong one. Well, if I do, if things do go wrong. Yeah, we've only got $25 left, so we don't have many rebuys in that locker. We probably have three more. <clears throat> so I guess we'll see. Yeah, that's going to be way too big with three bet. Make it 140 with our jacks. I'm not going to start stealing blinds when the blinds are just 10 20. I haven't played sitting goes for the longest time. So, um, this is by no means supposed to be an instructional video, it literally is just, just for some fun. Um, some people have got in touch with me in the past asking for coaching in sitting goes. Um, it would be very, very, very rude of me to offer such a service um that's going to be too small 660 um, because quite simply i don't play the games i'm pretty sure i'd be plus ev in them especially at these stakes don't get me wrong um i mean i'm just going to call here because because i've got a set i mean i'm probably going to lose to a flush or a straight, and that really is a bad river. That really, it makes me want to fold. Really want to fold. Really, really, really want to fold. Everything's got a king ten, but he might just have two pairs. Nope, he's got the royal flush. There you go. It's a first on the video. That is a absolute first. Somebody has a royal flush. I knew that was a fold. There, I suck at poker sometimes. It's a dreadful call, absolute shocker. Everything got there, still called anyway. Um, I clearly wouldn't have called that in a cash game. In a second go, who knows? But yeah, cool. Raw flush in a video. It's probably worth losing seven dollars just for that to have happened. Um, I wish it was my raw flush, but it wasn't. So, oops, looks like we're gonna lose another stack here. Um. No, I clearly know nothing about this player, so I'm not in the business of folding jacks too often. It might be the best time we get all tournaments, so um, we're just going to go with it. This could be the shortest video on record, but um, we've got it in good and we have held. Go on, we like that. We like that. Um, yeah, so I will try. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to play like a complete jackass in the video. I'm going to try and play a good poker. I'm going to try and win. And I'm going to try and impart as much knowledge, good or bad as that may be, into my thought processes. Um, going back to the, the hand with the set of jacks, I mean, I think the river was probably a pretty clear fold. But, I mean, he could just have had two pair there. He could have just randomly been bluffing. I don't know. I mean, for all I know, this guy might be some monster sicko. I doubt it, because he's called a three bet out of position. With, he's called, called a three bet out of position with King-10 suited. So he's probably just going to be pretty bad. Um, well, who knows? I mean, yeah, probably a fold. But, whatever. I didn't make it. I'm not going to cry about it. But that's not going to be an indication how I'm going to play the session. I'm not just going to play recklessly and carelessly. I'm actually going to try and produce a good video because I quite like the idea of producing more different content for my channel. I accept and everyone kind of knows that the only reason I have the channel is to spam my ring game coaching course. Well, that's the that's main reason for it. That's why I'm just doing it too. I might my vanity of getting more and more followers and getting more and more hits. It, it does appeal to my vanity somewhat. But the main purpose of the video of the channel when I started it was just to allow me to to produce content, spend it to forums, hopefully gain some attention from my coaching services. But that said, um, I think 
it, the channel needs some extra content, needs some fresh content that isn't always just coaching. Um, I may actually start adding all sorts of different. I may start playing some stud games. I may start playing some Raz. Um, who knows? Some Badoogie. I don't have a clue what I'm doing in Badoogie. But I might do it anyway because because why not? And then just start putting some different stuff out there just for fun. So we're going to start with second goals. I probably won't ever do multi-table tournaments. But what I could do one day, you never know if I ever somehow suck out enough times to run deep. Um, I may well, well record a deep run in the tournament. Um, let's see about my threes here, I think. Am I? Yeah, I'm going to see better fold than two arrays. Um, just kind of want to protect my hands at this point. Don't want to be giving free cards to any like two over card type things. Uh, when we get called, I'm just going to hope I can shut my hand down. I'm certainly not going to bet again. Yeah, seven suited. I should have three X on the button. I think in a ring game, this is a quite quite a simple call. Call here because you bet so small. But in a second goal, I want to try and preserve chips. I think um, I think folding is probably wise. You know, just isolate the limper here with our two jacks. Seems pretty standard, and I'm not going to paint this with that off. Not the best of flops for jacks, but not the worst of flops either. Not going to see that. Not that much to protect against. Not the easiest hand in the world to get value with. I mean, obviously, we can get to call with some A size, um, some worse pairs. In fact, I think we will make a small bet. I think we will make a small bet. I'm just going to call this dunk bet. Not particularly happy with the ears. Oh shit, I didn't realise they had such a soft shot stack. Um, yeah, clearly I would just have shoved, and I would just have shoved the, I would just have shoved the Jack Queen free flop as well. So my stupidity and not noticing my stack depth, that's just like a cash game hang over there. Of, um, just not realising that my stack doesn't auto reload when I play a sitting goes. When I lose my chips, I've kind of got to win them back. So that was definitely a mistake for me. I should just have shoved them. Yeah, and I'm just going to fold here again. This guy looks like he's pretty bad. He's probably going to make tons of mistakes. Um, hopefully make one against me. In fact, he already did make one against me when he just decided the ace jack was good enough for pre-flop. But yeah, the jack queen there I just didn't even pay any attention to my stack size whatsoever. Well, these plans go up pretty quick. Um, 15 blinds, King Jack. I haven't got a fucking clue if this is good or bad, but um, it's going anyway. I suspect it might be bad. I suspect it might be bad, but the antis kind of appeal to me a little bit. It's only 24 chips, but it's 5% of a stack plus the blinds. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But it works, so whatever. I'll enjoy that for what it was. I did used to play sit and goes a lot back in the day before I played cash games. And they used to have some really sweet um, double stack sit and goes on the iPod connector where we started with. Um, it could have been a call there, I'm not sure. I think my stack is probably not a good idea though. Uh, they used to have some really cool double stack sit and goes when you started with like 3,000 chips and people were just so bad. Um, you could just sit and fall for the first 25 minutes and get that three-handed without even doing anything and still have a lot of big blinds. Um, yeah, and I crushed them pretty hard. I'm going to try and limp in my 8-9 suited. No idea about the Fukta. Charming name he's got there. He might let me get away with it. He might not. He hasn't, so we'll just fall and we won't be trying that again. 
So yeah, I have definitely made money sitting goals in my lifetime. I, I think if I had to grind sitting goals on the stars, I'd be, comf- I'd be confident that I would maybe be able to make a profit up to maybe the $15 games. After that, I'm not so sure. I have no idea how many regulars are playing higher. Um, I think the ones that probably are playing a lot are probably playing the Super Turbos, which I don't like very much. I play the FPP ones sometimes, but I don't like the Super Turbos. But I'd be surprised if I couldn't show a profit over a large sample size in $15 sitting goes. But then, um, you know, the rate's not going to be too great. So it's not something I ever hope I have to do. But I do like sitting goes now and then. It just makes a nice change from the from the ring game grind. I remember I used to get quite tilted by them though. And before my mental game was as strong as it is now, I'd been known to hurt myself by punching my table, I've been known to damage pieces of computer equipment. Yeah, I haven't always been the placid laid back dude that I am these days. With the tens here, I think I'm just gonna show that. And um, we're going to aces up there, and we're now drawing dead. Oh, no, we weren't quite drawing dead. We we had runner on our quads. Yeah, we we're registered for another, why not? Um, what do you want to be sure lobby nonsense is about? So we'll just leave that table up there, so it's better aesthetically to see my wallpaper on my desktop and as soon as the next table starts we'll close that and we'll then um, we'll tile and every table we'll make move around the east two will move slightly so we leave that table tile and everything will move just slightly i think oh no it hasn't well wow. i thought it would do so now we're down to three-handed on this bottom left table and the shortest stack so i kind of want to be should be pretty wide on this guy here and um, this is the guy I want to try and play pots against. I don't really want to be getting too involved with the big stack. Um, my strategy is going to be pretty much, and I don't know, if you're in 30 blinds. So it seems like it might be an overshot, but I don't particularly want to race call it off. So that could be a mistake. In fact, it probably is not the best play. And maybe, maybe race call is better. I'm not sure. Um, honestly, don't know. If someone does know, please tell me. I'd be very interested to know. At the moment, like Cal, whatever it's called, Cal Maluco, he's in the worst spot because... And I'm not sure if we can jam here or not. I think it's an absolute easy jam. Um, he's in a bad spot because till I bust, he kind of has to just play... He's pretty he's kind of handcuffed, and then yeah, well, whatever. Was that we're going to lose again? Never mind. Doesn't I mean that's still for me. It's a it's a very trivial jam, and unfortunately, he had the cure for our race ten. So um, yeah, we're ready to for another. And again, we'll keep that table up until. Until afterwards, and yeah, the part I was going to make was to try and play force Carmel Luca to play honestly, but then I've just seen him min three bet pre flop and then do that. So maybe he didn't even know that he had to play super honestly. Maybe, um, maybe having seen how bad he played that hand, I could have been a bit more patient and waited for him to make a mistake. But I'm happy with what I did, so never mind. It didn't work out. If you do play second goals, the they have reasonably low variance, um, but there's still you know 20 buying down swings. I would imagine are commonplace. It's certainly not as low variance as cash, but they're a lot lower variance than um, they're a lot lower variance than it. What's the word I'm looking for? MTTs. It's not even a word. It's an acronym. I think it's an acronym anyway. Maybe my English sucks, but. Seems like it's an acronym. Which table am I closing here? This one. I'm just going to put this one in. And I think we'll probably leave it at this one because the video is, is going to go on a while if I if I don't. 
Russian 10 suited. I'm going to raise here just to try and isolate the limper. Can I 3 bet shove my ace 5? Should I 3 bet shove my ace 5? I don't think we need to. I think we can just fold. I'm not going to see that this bob when we pick up two callers and we hit an absolutely disgusting bob. But I am going to value bet now I've hit my 10. For the same reasons betting a flop would have been bad. I think value betting a turn is good. And now it's just a matter of whether I bet the river for value or whether I check to try and get it to bluff with any misdraws he may have. I shove here with my ace jack, it's pretty trivial. And I've got a value bet. And we're going to just shove here with the queen 10, I think. And some of these shoves could be really quite bad. I've literally. Not, I've got no idea, saying no idea is not fair to me. I have some idea that I need to be shoving pretty wide. But I mean, Queen 10 it seems like a really trivial shove to me. The Ace Queen here seems like a trivial shove. I'm not sure if I'm shoving too early though, in terms of how many big blinds I have. Really not 100% on that, but it seems okay to me. If any sit and go experts are watching this video and I have made some truly appalling shows, please do feel free to comment either in the comment section on YouTube or on the comment section on Reddit or Cards Chat, whatever it is that I'm posting the video. Um, yeah, please do. Please do tell me what I'm doing wrong. Because these certainly aren't meant to be instructional videos, that's for sure. What did we get looked up with, by the way, when we value our King 10? Ace 6, beautiful. Games are dead, folks. I'm going to just semi bluff here with my straight and flush draws. He's checked, he's checked twice, every chance he's just going to fold. I think we can definitely make him fold some better hands there, Ace high, etc. I'm not going to receive it in this board. I'm not going to be calling or raising a donk there either. I'm quite enjoying this. It's nice and relaxed. It doesn't really matter if I say something dumb because it's not meant to be an educational video, so I can say as many dumb things as I want, which is which is nice. Hopefully, not say too many dumb things though. Make a small C bet here. We are back door, not push draw. And a good shot. So that seems enough for me to to make a small bet. And we get called in two spots and completely brick. So that's us pretty much done with the whole situation. Maybe it checks through, maybe we spike the nuts, who knows? It just checked through and we don't spike the nuts. Never mind. I meant to 2.5 exit there, but for some reason I was clicking and it wasn't really happening for me. This race size suggests that Voggy S86 isn't a regular. Um, I just don't think any regulars are 3 x in these days. In these games, uh, in, in singles. So it's probably going to be some kind of anything from just moderate recreational player to a full on fish. Um, I'm not sure if the 610 off the jam or not yet. Don't think it is. But it could have been. It could have been a jam there. It seems just a little bit too weak to me. What I don't want to do is blind myself out. I swear, um, I used to be somewhat guilty of that back in the day when, um, when I stopped playing the deep stacks and tried to play the shallow stacked ones. I often, because I am quite a tight poker player in general, I would often blame myself out. I'm not intending to do that here. We're going to go out all guns blazing. And if I make some bad shoves, well, whatever. I make some bad shoves. Well, we need something. I, mean, I think 10 5 off, 10 6 off, and Jack 3 or whatever it was. Uh, I think those have to be just unplayable under almost any circumstance. 3 7 again. So 
it is unfortunate when we do just go completely card dead in these games. I'm going to make a really tight fold here for the eights. The ace eight suited will not be getting folded. The queen seven suited will be getting shoved. Not fond of having the small, the small stack in the small blind, um, but I still think it's fine. I'm going to try and protect my chip stack a little bit. Don't want to be, I've got a good stack here, don't really want to be letting it dwindle. Wow. Now I think this is a fault. Because I think I'd rather now than, than call that we've got two players, one who's got a shorter stack than us, and one who I think is bad, who would rather just shove on now in this situation than call it off with ASI. With like an AC, and again, that could be pretty flawed thinking by me, but it, it makes sense to me. <clears throat> I'd rather get my chips in first. It's a pretty old concept, but it kind of surely it has to stand true to. <clears throat> that is, I'd rather get my chips in and make people call them and call my chips off. If we, if we shove, we have two chances to win. If we, and the king ten off some trivial show as well. If we shove, we have two chances to win. We have to make a little fold. Oh, we could sometimes suck out. When we call, we only have one chance to win. We have to win the showdown. Um, that is an old concept, but surely it has to stand true still. That ace eight was close. I think he was close. But I'd rather try and wear. He hasn't been like doing it every hand, which I would probably do with his stack right now. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with the fold. I'm quite sure how someone's just called him in with his head off that stack size, but I guess it is just a seven dollar sit and go, so it's not expecting to see too many genius players. And there we go, there we go, boys and girls. We have a bet and a call. One guy's made an awful call pre, one most guys made a pure call pause swap. I think the ace is a trivial jam here. I am a bit concerned we might get spiked called by Vog, yes, with any two, but um, then if we do that, at least we're, getting, we're probably going to be ahead of his range. Although I'd rather just pick the bottom right now. I don't particularly want this bet to be called. I'm happy just chipping up without really having to see flops and turns and rivers and things. Could take a hand off. Yeah, the more I'm seeing, the more I'm seeing how Slavs play, and the more relaxed I am now about my fold with the ace eight suited. With Vogler's stack size, he should be showing just about any two, I believe. Could be wrong. It feels like he should be showing any two, but I'm not going to make a call with Jack two. But red ace two, I think I probably will call. And this guy should absolutely just shove on me because I can't call unless I have like kings, aces, queens, something like that. So, yeah, I don't think anyone's played particularly well. I mean, I feel like I'm the best player in this tournament. I don't necessarily mean I'm going to win it, but I feel like I'm, I'm the best player left in. I'm not going to fold if Bogley has jams. I am going to jam on the Fukuto. Not fond of his screen name, but whatever. So we have a we are chipping down very quickly in this game, which is somewhat disappointing. Um, we are going to see that our good shot there. I'm not going to steal again. I think it's too early to be stealing blinds. Super trivial shove here. Oh, and I didn't shove. I didn't actually shove which would be pretty soul-destroying if I somehow misclicked or 
timed out, but it doesn't matter anyway. Six five suited. We're going to have to call if progress jams as well, I believe. Queen seven suited. Should I be showing this hand? There's 340 chips in the pots. Um, no, I don't think it should be. Queen nine suited. I've got a good chip position at the minute, so I'm just going to fold. I would have shoved on the foot to had it folded to me, but probably what's his face? He hasn't been dating two out of five, I would have seen. We would have crushed that flop. Oh, we would have crushed. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, we've gone four ways here with our aces, which isn't ideal, but seems like a good flop for us. Only ace five. Don't particularly enjoy it, but not sure I can fold. Kind of want to jam here. So I'm going to. And we're in trouble. Ace me one time. Oh, quite oh shit. I thought he had ace five. Not queen five. I wasn't even paying attention there. That was probably awful. Uh, but never mind. Um, yeah, that was a really bad jam. For some reason, I don't know why, I just in my head, I thought I had ace five. Um, I didn't. Never mind. Never mind. Let's check back now. We've hit a pair. Not too worried about the ace. If he makes a large bet, I'm going to be much more worried about him somehow having an eight. And now the question is, do I go for some thin value? And I think I do. He might look me up with a six here. If he raises, I'm just always dead, so I'm not too concerned about being raised. Oh, wow, he's made such a small raise. I mean, I'm just beat here pretty much all the time and getting one and getting, getting close to like five to one of my money. But I think the guy just has an eight, just like. Phew. Yeah, I'm just going to fold. That was the plan. The plan was to bet fold. This is somewhat disappointing. I hope I cash one of these. I was playing six sitting goes on videos and not cashing one. Um, yeah, won't do my pride much good. We've only got three to go. I'm not sure I've been c baiting too much, by the way. Really not sure. I think I possibly could have been. Seems like an easy fold. Bet my deuce just for protection. And now it's a question of do I bet my deuce for value on the river? Um, I think you're going to be beat here a lot. I think he's just going to have a seven a lot of the time. But I'm not going to fold because he might just have a jack or he might have a missed hat draw or. Who knows what else? Yeah, he says a seven, which is clear. Oh, wow, we are running pretty gross right now. And I'm beginning to remember why I stopped playing singles because they are quite frustrating. But when we see players that it feels that we're significantly better than. And we're just getting crushed at every turn. But um, yeah, it's like I said at the start of the video, this wasn't meant to be instructional. It wasn't meant for me, me to show and walk at me. I agree. Sit and go. It was just something I'm doing. I was at a loose end. Um, there was not many good cash tables run, running. <laughs> I just fancy play some sit and go, so then I thought, well, why the hell not? Why just not record them? Why not record them just for the crack? 
But yeah, really would enjoy cashing in one of them. Pair, good shot, flush draw. Can we hit one time? Oh, we don't. We don't hit. I suspect we're going to lose to a queen here, or a five. Oh, we chop it. That's not the worst result. Not sure if this is a shovel or not, but I think at this stage it probably is. I think he's going to need a really strong hand to call me, and he's mad. <laughs> He's got a really strong hand. Come on, eight ball. No, nope. no dice. So we are down to one. Which is, which is somewhat unfortunate. Tell you what, let's go full screen on the one table. Let's make it as big as I can. And still let it fit in my screen. Can we go bigger? Yes, we can. Probably out by the time I've got it done, but there we go, boys and girls. Nice bit of full screen. Rest in peace, George Cole. He died recently, bless him. I have it, Avatar, have it, call it what you will. He's of a legendary UK actor who is incredibly awesome at playing the character Flash Harry in St. Trinian's. No, that's not true, but he was he was awesome playing that character. But he was my favourite character. He's playing the role of Arthur Daly there. A reminder, any UK players watching this, of around probably in the 30s, will know fully well who he is. Everyone knows who Arthur Daly was. It's quite hard to find anything to say when we're then on one table in a second go, but then I try and fill it with some random nonsense. It is currently 43 minutes to SummerSlam. Looking forward to that tonight. I almost had a bet on it. Um, I've never bet on wrestling in my life, and I think the day I do start betting on wrestling is probably the day I need to go to Gamblers Anonymous. But Brock Lesnar is 5-2 to two to win against The Undertaker, which seems to me, unless there's some kind of interference, seems to me like it's, it's kind of going to struggle to see how WWE can can make them to take a victory, but it seems nonsensical that they will bring him back just out of the lose. And I'm presuming they try to set something up for WrestleMania next year, so I'm probably going to win somehow, but I was, I was mighty close. I almost, almost had a little bet. I did have a bet on Usain Bolt today. That was nice. That was more heart than head. Mm, but um, 888 were giving odds against Usain Bolt just before the final. And... But any time you get a chance to bet Usain Bolt odds against to win, a, to win any race ever, I think you just have to take it. It's like it's not once in a lifetime stuff, but it's not far enough once in a lifetime stuff. So I did chunk into him. I didn't have a huge bet. It was something like $33 to win, $37, something like that. So it wasn't the biggest bet of all time. But it was nice to see... And sorry to all you Americans out there, it's nice to see some cheating American scumbag losing the biggest race of his career. It was nice to see. Got a shove here with my King 3 suited. I am somewhat concerned Scorpion's limping with a strong hand, but um, plenty of chips out there and I want them. Six five suited, we have. 15 blinds to me, 15, 16, 17 blinds, something like that. I don't think we need to shove 6 5 suited off this stack size. We certainly don't need to shove when <coughs> somebody limps the previous hand and decides to raise both sons. Um, 
King four suited to Templars. There she goes. There she goes. It's nice to win to ace again. That'd be a fitting way to end the video. Oh, here's King. He looks the same. Come on, four. Ooh, go on, you big four ball. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. If you can't be good, be lucky. Um, and she goes again. And all of a sudden, we are teetering on the brink of a cash. <clears throat> oh, I can even raise. Can I raise fold here? I think you're going to raise call actually. You're going to raise call instead, rather than just go all in. Can I bail myself out of trouble if we win this? How much do I win for winning this? Oh, it's a three dollar fifty one bollocks. I hope it was a seven dollar one. Might have got me half out of my hole. But we played, we played seven twenty eight. $35 worth of games and if we don't cash we've lost $35 worth of games which makes for a somewhat expensive fun video whatever <clears throat> you give it a toss oh hopefully we turn gin and then the river's been somewhat unpleasant for us I still think we can bet We've got a 10, obviously, we're going to lose. But I don't think he has a 10 too often. Checks that turn. Maybe he does, who knows? Maybe he does. <coughs> Another button limp. Um, don't want to complete here. So we're just trying to isolate the limp there. We're going to fold if he shows we don't succeed with that isolation, which is somewhat unfortunate. And then we completely break a flop. So the button limps and the folds, and then the big bang calls, we break the flop. Um, everything that could possibly have gone wrong there did go wrong, which is, which is amusing. And um, we're probably going to lose two ace high. Not much I could do there. So we're back to where we started from a moment ago. I mean, these games do seem pretty damn soft. I mean, I don't think I played well, to be honest with you. I don't think I played terribly, but I'm sure I probably made some bad shoves. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I do feel like I've been somewhat unlucky. King three suited. I mean, I have a hard time believe people limping, limp folding in modern poker, but they really are. Who knows? And they are. And this is kind of where maybe sometimes I will be guilty of leveling myself because I think people are just limping to trap or whatever, but they're not. They're just limping. Bad hands, most likely. All in being like moderate hands. No, take a hand off here. Yeah, the problem is, I don't think these two are just going to go bam against each other because I don't think either of them have got like the barmy gene in them. They haven't got the barmy chromosome. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to do my own bidding to some extent. Because just both players just seem really quite quite passive and bad. Right, again, it's not really a limp here. It's gonna show off if he calls well. Whatever. I think they're both gonna make mistakes, both making mistakes here by folding too much and playing too passively. And just gonna presume Ridges pre presume Ridges got some kind of hand here for them raising the bottom. They may be just ASA. Um, I just don't think it's going to be doing it ever with like a the wide range. 
and he wasn't. He actually did have a, a reasonable hand. Now we're just going to try and play sensibly. I mean, obviously, clean it without being remotely plastic. I couldn't give a shit about the money. It's rather it's like six dollars or twelve dollars. But I do want to try and play sensibly. I do want to try and play for the win. So we are going to try and play sensibly and try not to bust before we did. Now we have like a decent, um, a decent chip lead on him. So we're not going to be just like randomly shoving into Dormito's big blind anymore. And we're still going to try and steal it. We have a hand like Ace Five, but then. Um, I could have put myself in a real crummy spot here. Just start by checking. Because I just think it's hard to get caught by a worse hand. I'm just going to try and show my hand down here. Um, and if Domeo is any good, he should just at this point be realising I probably shouldn't be calling too many river shoves. But he clearly isn't too good. Because he was just randomly bluffing, I presume, with. He wasn't, he was going for thin value with 8 9. Oh, probably not with a thin bag, you're probably just betting because he had a pair and so bad players do, they just bet. So yeah, he kind of made life really easy for me there. I do like his name though, Dormio. It's, it's a brand of sauce in the UK, which is really quite a nice one. So now we have like a 2,000 chip advantage on Riddy. I think it would be a big mistake here to, to bust before Riddy. But because we now have Domi or Cupboard, he theoretically should have a really narrow call in range. He might not understand that, who knows? He just might not understand that when I shove. He has to fall pretty much everything. Um, And he might just make some really bad calls. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, he should really be folding everything there. If Ridley shoves, I'm going to call, but I'm not going to enjoy the situation much. My plan here was to min race, fold if Domi or should he call off if Ridley shoves. And now we're building quite a nice chip of ice. We're just chipping away at the pair of them here, which is, which is, I think, the way we should always try and go about our sitting goes. It's, it's obviously a lot easier when we have people who will just let us get away with murder, like these two guys are. I'm just going to continue with the shoving now. We're significantly clear of both of them. Yeah. Now, if we if we lose to either of them, we're still not going to be in dreadful shape. I always get dead suspicious in these. I get dead paranoid. But, um, because I've been active, people are limping to trap me. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. I'm not sure. And now I'm going to value bet our race, though. For a good shot, too. I'm not going to value bet the river. Uh, it's probably too thin. Wow, he was limping to try me. Oh, I think at least I think he was. So maybe that river was too thin there. Again, same as before, we're gonna min race, gonna fall to Don Mio if he shoves, we're gonna call it off if he really shoves. And we're just gonna go about trying to just chip up again. Not folding here if really shoves, obviously. And, yep, we win. Woohoo, we've cashed. We're going to end the video in a place of cashing glory. I used to be quite good heads up at sitting goals of short stacks. I'm not really sure how good I am now. But um, I don't think I'm going to need to be good to beat Domi, though. Just gonna need to not make any really alarming errors. Because it's certainly not gonna wear me down with aggression, that's for sure. I 
15 lines. King H seems like it's just a pretty easy shove to me. <clears throat> Especially with someone who thinks it can be folded too much. I don't think you can understand how, just how wide you should be shoving and calling. Um, just that value bit in. We're not going to fold if he gets aggressive, but we're not going to rub it either. Again, I think nine queen to shove. I just don't think Domio is a player that's shoving wide, so I think I need to be down two and I'm just five by to something. Five or six players to call that. Let's see a response if I limp. And he lets me. And he leads out, which I'm just going to presume for the time being that he's just flopped a pair. If he keeps doing this min bet thing, we might have to do something about it. Clearly, we're not going to do it in this time. He bets 400 this time. I'd like to know what that meant. I'm going to presume it probably just means he's got a hand he really likes. Five nines will play a ball. King nine are going to shove if he limps. Don't really want him wearing me down with passivity. See the SH trivial shove. I'm back to having the two to one chip lead. I'm just going to call it once here. Um, obviously, we can hit a six or a seven, which thinks can be good. We can hit a half, which is good for us all of four. <coughs> four of hearts being the best one possible. I'm going to check for it if we get the chance. I don't think he's got a hand when he uses his size. But I want to try and set stacks up so I can shoot the river. So. I, mean, I think he's going to fall most of the time, but we can't. Oh, wow. Good stuff. We're just going to hope he's got an ace here. Which he does, and he's drawing dead. Lovely job. So we, <coughs> we win the final game. Go us. Um, yeah, so I've probably lost, what to lose a point of 35. Yes, we lost $23 making the video. <coughs> but I had probably had $23 worth of fun. So I hope you enjoyed the video too. Please do leave any comments on any of the horrendous plays I made, but do bear in mind that this was not meant to be a training video. It was just something to add a little bit of variety to my channel. And then, um, if you'd like to see more variety, just suggest games you'd like to see me play, and I'll just buy into them at the slow stakes and play them, and just offer my thoughts on them for what they were. So if you'd like to see me play some kind of different game, you name it, and I'll try and play it at the smaller stakes. So I hope you enjoyed this, and until next time, um, take care and good luck. Bye for now.